The Chicago Bears are on the road and not a team to be taken lightly despite their record. He's going to fake it to Fields and run it for a second time this year, and he's into the end zone. They're in Cleveland this week, the Browns inching closer and closer to getting into the dance they so covet. Open man could go. David Bell, touchdown. Okay, Browns, now you have elite material at quarterback. It's an old debate, but 311 yards, three touchdowns, that's plenty elite, right? And plenty enough to make Joe Flacco the man who is hoping to lead the dog pound to playoff country. And then Flacco, as Ian has been describing, right on time with the perfect throw. And how about the stiff arm by Najoku? Last week was the first time the Browns offense has put up more than 300 yards passing in 2023. To keep that up, he has to beat one of the hottest secondaries going, though. The Bears held Jared Goff to 161 yards last week, mid-50s rating. Goff, hit as he delivers into the arms of Edmonds. One step closer to sealing the deal. Expect a lot of cornerback Jalen Johnson versus Amari Cooper. Cooper, Flacco's most targeted guy last week, 14 targets, 77 yards. Flacco throws. Amari Cooper, did he get it cleanly is the question. The answer is yes. Seven receptions on 14 targets is a little rough. And now Cooper will have to deal with one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Throw at Jalen Johnson and you're asking for some Kenny Loggins. INT in back-to-back games. All passes his direction, passes into the danger zone. And goal! According to Archer, anyway. Bears also played tight end Sam Laporta tough, held him to 23 yards. That's important because Flacco's other key pass catcher, tight end David Njoku, two touchdowns last week, six catches over 90 yards. Flacco on the move, throws, connection made, Njoku! Flacco got good protection versus the Jaguars. Will be tougher to hold off Chicago's rush now that they have Montez Sweat. He's really a difference maker. Chicago with a four bag showing versus Detroit. Sweat with his 10th of the year. How about the power of Montez Sweat? And remember, when you're in the pocket, the quarterback, there is no horse collar rule. Along the ground, Chicago has played running backs tough this season, but not so much lately. Six yards per carry or better allowed to two different backs last week. Right, you're gonna see Sam Laporta come all the way across here. Nice job sifting through the traffic. He's just such a good player. We talked about it, his ability to block, his ability to catch the football. Cleveland's Kareem Hunt didn't do much week 14, but Jerome Ford went for over 50 yards, 4.3 a run at least. Ford cuts to the outside, walks the tightrope, handles the contact, and he's out of bounds. Brown's rush attack kind of cold as of late. Four games in a row, it hasn't really left a mark. Chicago's, on the other hand, has. 30 carries last week, over 140 yards, 4.7 a run, two touchdowns versus the Lions. Somehow escapes, still on his feet. Justin Fields making some magic happen out to the 30 yard line. Justin Fields, lead man, 58 yards, 4.8 per touchdown. Justin Fields, his eyes are on the end zone. He's in, touchdown Bears. Deontay Foreman chipped in 50 yards as well, 4.5 a run. Brown's defense has not struggled versus quarterbacks running, a little softer versus running backs, but didn't struggle versus Travis Etienne in week 14, held him to 35 yards, 2.5 a carry. They'll try it on the ground. Etienne, spin move, going nowhere. In fact, losing yardage. Cleveland's pass defense comes in off a game where they had some issues. Three touchdowns allowed to a hobbled Trevor Lawrence. And Lawrence in the air, caught. Touchdown, Parker Washington! But still, they picked him off three times, 65.2 rating, so their season numbers versus quarterbacks, still top shelf. Lawrence dials it up, it's picked off, Emerson comes away with it. Browns with four sacks and a fat 12 QB hits last week too. And Lawrence is dumped at the 15 yard line. Big Maurice Hurst Jr. Justin Fields, he knows the strains, man. Three more sacks taken last week. Second and nine, Fields. Well, they are really bracketing Aiden Hutchinson. He's trying to catch up to Justin. He never gave up on that play. Still, Fields not only ran for 58 yards versus the Lions, 223 passing yards, a touchdown, no picks. Fields for more! Got him! Touchdown! Bears lead! Darnell Mooney, 44 yards. Browns had trouble with the tight end, 
How about Cole Komet? He's a field's favorite. Five catches, 66 yards last week. Watch Komet work himself back in a little bit and then get away from Anzalone. Great catch. And the guy he relies on most, DJ Moore, six catches, 68 yards, and a touchdown in his most recent outing. Boy, I talk about going up high on the corner route. High point in the football. They always talk about that great job by DJ Moore. Moore scored on a sweep, too. Receivers have had a tough time being successful versus Cleveland DBs, though. All year and last week, Calvin Ridley needed 13 targets to catch four balls. By the throw and where Ridley was going, the next guy would have caught it would have been Martin Emerson, MJ Emerson. Receivers working inside, balls working out. The Bears, they've won three of their last four and should be on a four-game bender. But this is no gimme. How about you give me a breakdown and prediction in the comments section, would you? Panel attend, give me a few guesses.